seen Bobby? Oh, he's out with Myra helping to baste the turkey. I shudder to think what the kitchen will look like. <laughs> Why are there two extra place sittings here? Well, I've I put one down for Bobby, and then I've invited Cliff. What, on Thanksgiving? Oh, this is a family affair. I won't have outsiders here. He's not an outsider any more than Bobby is. Well, maybe Bobby, but not his father. You better disinvite him right I away. I certainly will not do that. You're not going to tell me with whom I sit at dinner on this day or any other day that man is not welcome in this house. Father, I promised Bobby that we're all going to be together for the holiday, and I'm not going to break that promise. You dare stand there. It's You're... a family celebration, and if Cliff isn't allowed here, then I won't come either. Now, you think about that. I'm going to go and see if I can find Bobby. <laughs> You're not the only one Aunt Phoebe's been pairing up. She invited Roy to be my man of the evening. Oh, she can't resist playing Cupid, can she? Oh, look, that's being nice. I call it Aunt Phoebe's plain old interfering. You know what? Maybe she's got an ulterior motive. Maybe she'd like us to return the favor and invite Langley. What do you think? Yes. Oh, that is a great idea. I'm going to go right now, and I'm going to talk him into coming. Oh, good luck. Oh, I hope he comes. Okay. No, no. That's fine. That's, That's perfect. That's perfect. Sure. Okay. Yep. Okay, now let's attack the coffee table here. What do you, you want to do with it? Well, I want to move it down a little bit, just a little tiny. You have no idea what has been going on in this house since last night. To say nothing of this morning. I got up at the crack of dawn to stuff the turkey and put it in the oven. I made a sweet potato casserole. Oh, I made that cranberry relish that you love so much, you know, the one with the almonds and everything in it. Yeah. And for dessert, I made... Oh, listen Ma, to me, not one, Ma, but I made Ma, two. Ma, Ma, two. Just wait for a second, please. Just stop it. I feel guilty enough as it is. Look. The reason I came over here early is because I, I, um, I don't think I'm going to be eating dinner here tonight. Come on, you're teasing. No, no, I'm, I'm serious. See, I was hoping I could uh, go over to the Wallingfords for Thanksgiving dinner. Tad, you couldn't possibly have been... Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. But I'm hoping that they won't possibly be able to turn me away once I show up on their doorstep. Honey, Thanksgiving dinner at the Martins has, has always been a, a tradition with us. You, you've Ma, just I got know. to okay, be I here know, with all of us. I know, I know. Look, I hate to disappoint you. I really do. But the fact is, on this day of days, Hillary's got to take me back. Listen, I, I wasn't sure what you'd be serving, but I brought you this and I just play it safe. Oh, well, now that is perfect. Thank you. Let me take your coat. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hi. Please. Oh, <laughs> this is my son, Tad. Tad, this is Hi, Dr. Allen West. Nice oh, to meet doctor, you, Tad. Nice to meet you. How are you? I uh, can't tell you how nice it is for me to spend the holidays with you here. I, I, I'd be home eating a dead pizza and yelling at the TV set. Didn't you tell me that you did know somebody here in Pine Valley, a, a, an ex-college roommate or something? Uh, Would you like to... Why don't you call him? Tad's not going to be able to stay with us. Roy Kramer. Well, I think he's the mayor's right-hand man. Um, he's tied up with a very lovely colleague of his right now. I'm sure he'll you know, be spending Thanksgiving with her. Yeah, so uh, 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 listen, you know what happened? I'm so sorry. Nurse Eckley called. She said that she had a report that she wanted about some patient. Uh, or some, why don't you use the telephone in the kitchen, okay? Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. Right through there, right on the wall. Right, thank you. That's why. You're going to tell me he doesn't know about the connection between me and Hillary? It is possible. And I might seriously advise you to stay away from the walling first today oh, if no Roy is there. No way, Mom. There's such a thing as territorial rights. I'm going to go over and blow the sucker out of the water. <sighs> Perhaps it was a last minute decision. We are back. Hello, Hello, everybody. Hello. Cliff, I'm so glad you could join us for Thanksgiving. Thanks, John. You, you, know, you will not believe all the news on the radio about Erica. I mean, they said that her wedding did, never took place, that she flew off in a helicopter. The information is still very, very sketchy. But, mm. Nina, didn't you see any of this when you were there? Thank you. No, I, I didn't. Uh, the guards kept us in the chapel a lot of the times. Well, why didn't Jeremy go off with her, I wonder? 
Oh, well, let's turn on the radio or something. Maybe there's an update on the news. Yeah. Yes? Oh. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Hi. Thanksgiving. Yeah. Yeah. Have you guys heard what happened to Erica? Oh, yes, we were just talking about it. Yeah, her. we did, but uh, have you heard anything else where she no. went? Anything? No, no. If they know anything, they sure aren't telling us. I mean, it looks like there's a blackout on the whole thing. For heaven's sake. I want you to make sure that you're on your best behavior today, Dick Cliff, for my sake. I'm always on my best behavior. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. Dinner is... Uh, oh, 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 yeah. Yeah. oh, let me go first, Cliff. You know the way. Well, yeah. I okay. am starving. Oh, me too. Oh, yes. All of us. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Here we go. Catch. Oh, 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 well, that's the strangest situation I've ever heard. Nobody's heard anything about where Erica's gone. Oh, Ruth, for heaven's sake, forget it. Nobody cares anything about Erica's umpteenth wedding or non-wedding. Anyway, I'm not about to let Erica Kane ruin our Thanksgiving. Honey, where is he? Where's who? Well, Langley. What's he doing outside? Why didn't he come on in? How did you know I, I went to see Daddy? Oh, never mind, never mind. <laughs> Langley! Langley, my dear, hey, come on in. Wait, wait, so hey, Phoebe, wait, listen. I, um, I begged him to come today, but he refused. I'm sorry. You guys don't start eating the absurd dirt if you don't have room for dinner. Uh, I think it's on now. Did we ask for lunch? Well, I think you better not because Ruth was not out there slaving away all day just so you guys could watch the football game. <laughs> I don't second that. I am so sorry about this delay. I, j I have no idea what could be keeping Joe. Well, well maybe he dropped it on a patient, Ruth. No, I don't think so. Although he might have gone to the hospital to collect this mysterious guest that he's supposed to be bringing for dinner. I think I'm just going to uh -huh. check it out. Is there anything that needs watching in the kitchen? Uh, I think everything is reasonably under control. Thank you. <laughs> Hello. Oh, hi. It's, it's uh, Ruth Martin. Would you ring my husband's office for me, please? <laughs> Are you sure? Oh, okay. Thanks very much. Well, they, they said that he left there several hours ago. Well, then you're not worried about him, are you? No, no, I'm not worried. I'm a little confused. <laughs> well, dinner simply cannot wait any longer. That's all there is to it. And so we are not going to wait for him. We're going to start anyway. Oh, right. Joe, where in heaven's name have you been? Oh, I'm done? sorry, I'm sorry. It's just that the, uh, yeah, the uh, plane from San Francisco is late in arriving. The what from? What, the uh, the uh, plane from uh, San Francisco? Uh, well, what were you doing? Where, uh, oh, surprise! Oh, <gasps> Jeff! Oh, for heaven's sake, Jeff! Oh, my Lord! Oh, you're a mysterious guest! If only I'd known! Oh, you would have baked the cake, I would have, I would have, I would have! Hey, Joey! How you doing, pal? How you doing? How you doing? Boy, have you grown! Look at you! Hey, everybody! Hi, Angie! Thank you, Jesse. Long you time no see. How are you? you know that. You're looking good and everything. Well, thank you. Uh, how you? You know, uh, you know, Angie's mom, right? Oh, I sure do. How you doing, Pat? Real well, thank you, and welcome home, Jesse. Well, Jeff. thank you. Oh, somebody else you haven't met. Flyboy Frankie. <laughs> hey, look at this guy. Here. How you, how you doing, Tiger? Hey, hey, this is how Jeff. How you doing? <laughs> Whoa! Want some more raisins? Huh? Yeah? He's kind of oh, shy. Jeff, huh? Jeff. Yeah. I'd like to meet Alan West. I know his surgeon in the residence. It's my son, Jeff. Huh? Also a surgeon. Alan, how are you? My nice. dad was telling me about you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, where'd you train? Uh, New London General in Massachusetts. New London General. No, I can't place it. 
Boy, something smells good. What is that? Listen, don't you dare tell me that you came all of this distance for a Thanksgiving dinner. Now, with the way that you cook a turkey, you better believe it. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, you're right. It's really great. Thank That's you right. very, very, very much. But what is really, really going on? I mean, are you here on a vacation? Or? Well, actually, I guess you could chalk it up to a little bit of nepotism. No, no, no. No nepotism. Strictly a matter of merit. Uh, just that uh, when Cliff told me he was resigning as chief of surgery, I just gave Jeff a call to uh, inquire about his availability. And knowing full well that my contract at SF General was about to run out, I mean, the timing couldn't be better. Oh, it would be wonderful. I mean, it would be a dream come true. <laughs> well, uh, he's just here. He has to pass the board first. He's just here for an interview. Yeah, in fact, I've got to go back to finish out my contract, but uh, I feel pretty confident about being accepted. Yeah, so I should be back in a couple of weeks to uh, set up residency in dear old Pine Valley. Be great to be working together again, huh, Dad? It works out. Be wonderful. And your old room is right up there. I mean, it's ready. It's waiting for you. Yeah. Well, it's sure good to be back, I'll tell you. Especially on a day like today. There's nothing like family. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, I'm uh, appropriately complimented. It's just that, I mean, I'm aware of my business obligations and, and spending Thanksgiving dinner away from my family shouldn't be one of them. Ted, I'm asking you to stay. No, sir, you're not. You're ordering me to stay. Yes. Happy Thanksgiving. Ted, what are you doing here? And greetings of the day to you, too. I've invited Ted to stay for dinner. Oh, how nice. Uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, unfortunately, I was just telling your father I can't take him up on his most gracious offer. Are you quite sure, Dad? Oh, uh, yes, sir, absolutely. You see, Thanksgiving is just one day that I can't afford to spend away from my family. But thank you very much. Uh, my best to Stuart. Happy Thanksgiving. And why, pretty hell, did your father reach me? Well, Cliff. When are you planning to leave town? Oh, well, I, I'm, I'm not re really sure. I, there's a few details need to be ironed out. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do about the house? You going to rent or what? put it on the market? <clears throat> well, uh, actually, I was going to maybe resell it to Nina. I, she was kind enough to uh, cancel our original deal when Amy passed away. You know, Cliff, we're all going to miss you terribly. But I think it's lovely that you want to sell to Nina. This way, Bobby will have a wonderful home to come to that he's familiar with. Actually, I've decided against it this go-round. Why? Father, I don't want to discuss my decision right now. Well, why not? This is family. Surely you're free to uh, air your views and... All right, our... I have decided that I'm going to try and talk Cliff out of leaving Pine Valley. <laughs> well, why on earth would you do that? It seems an ideal time for him and Bobby to relocate. Get away from the unpleasant memories, start a new life. It's all right with you, Mr. Corlin. I'd just as soon not rake my plans over the dinner table. Yes, you are. Absolutely right, Cliff. Thank you, Myra. Uh, if you all will excuse me, I'm going to get a little fresh air. I'm just... And where are you going? Where else? I'm going to go and apologize to Cliff. for the first time, but hopefully for the last time, I do apologize for Warner's rude behavior. He shouldn't have been allowed in the house today, particularly this day of all days. This day should be for family, not for outsiders. Cliff is family. Are you going to exacerbate this painful Palmer. situation, Myra? Palmer, Palmer. That's it. Right. That's it. Conversation closed. If you'll excuse me, I... Uh... I think I'll go and tell Cook to hold the dessert. Well, you know, I'll help you uh, clear the table, too. Mm. Myra, no, 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 no. Please, you have done enough today. Please, let me do this for you. Okay? Thank you, mm -hmm. Ellen. Thank you. All right, whose fault is it? Mine? Simply because I asked him what his plans were. He goes stomping out of here like a child with a snit. Well, a fine Thanksgiving this has turned out to be. Thanks to that clod. They're out of wood. Oh, well, I'll get my coat and I'll go out and get some. Oh, Mrs. Valentine, let me get it. I need to walk that dinner off and we'll use the exercise. How's that? Well, I won't argue. You All know right. where the woodshed is. Uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Oh, 
Oh, he is such a lovely young man. Yes, yeah, Phoebe, this is not a dating service. Would you please cut off the matchmaking? Well, it's obvious, dear. He's head over heels about you. You're embarrassing me. Look, Roy is a friend, period. And you're making it very difficult for me to have a professional relationship with him. Listen, Phoebe. Well, but my darling, I mean, he's a very fine catch. It would be foolish of you not to reel him in. That's also a very personal decision, don't you think, Aunt Phoebe? What I really think is that Hillary has had quite enough of heartache. I think it's time that she found a man who truly appreciates her. Let's uh, drop it, okay? <laughs> Move the river and through the woods to Aunt Phoebe's house we go. The horse knows the way to carry the flame through the wild woods. He knows perfectly well where he stands. And by the way, you're the one that invited me here. I didn't. But I I guess that's someone else you set me up with. Happy Thanksgiving. Dad, hi. Hi. What? Happy Thanksgiving. This is Wallyford. Such a delight. Brooke, happy turkey. How dare you come here uninvited? Aunt Phoebe, why don't we go into the den with Tom and Laura? Hmm? You are not welcome here, Tad Martin. Aunt Phoebe, it's, it's all right. It is not all right. He is an intruder here. Laura's painting a picture for Tom, and I'm sure she'd love to paint one for you, too. I know what you're doing, and I do not approve. She digs me. I can't believe this. He did this. Well, flowers? It's nothing. Even though I did have to go to all the way to Center City to get them. I mean, all the stores in Pine Valley were closed because of the holiday. Well, who am I kidding? I mean, real reason I barged in here was because I, I wanted to see you. I mean, I don't know how I could have managed to stay away considering all the plans we've made. Plans? How quickly they forget. Don't you remember when we were first married? We agreed that... This year would be just for us. There'd be no trooping off to family houses for holidays. It'd be just you and me, alone at home, in our own house. Phone off the hood, doorbell on the blank, just wine and roses, and two of us. Nothing else mattered, except the fact that we belong to each other. earlier. Getting married? Mm-hmm. Uh well, -huh. uh, at least you didn't say no. Look, I don't mind waiting. I know that I'm going to have you someday. That'd be like a dream come true, wouldn't it? Mm-hmm. In the meantime, I've got something for you. You do what? Well, it's a ring that I was given when I was a little boy. I've always treasured it. I'd like you to wear it. Some dinner, wasn't it? 
It was truly something. I don't know how Ruth does it. Man, it's just like old times. Except that I miss Gran. Yeah, we all do. She was a very special, wonderful person. You know, there's so many memories in this house. You know, everything is just as usual. You know, people watching TV, you know, sneaking off into the kitchen for third helpings. <laughs> and hopefully you'll be a part of it all again. Now, if that board knows what they're doing, they'll pick me like that. Well, I must say you'll be following a very tough act. No, oh, I know. Cliff was very good. But I'm not worried. I can cut it. So tell me about you. I mean, the last time I was here, you were still a student, and now my dad tells me you're a terrific intern. Oh. I'm looking forward to working with you, Angie. Well, that's very nice. Thank you. So, how's the game? Dull. Dull, 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 dull. <laughs> well, I guess I better go take a look. Mm. I hope you enjoy being that, dude. All right, see ya. Mm. Is the game really dull? Eh, it's okay, you know. So, listen, what do you think? About what? Jeff. Oh, same as always. Nice. Yeah? Seemed kind of conceited to me. <laughs> anyway, how's Frankie? Well, he and Joey are having a great time playing marbles. I was just about to come and get you because he wants his daddy to show Joey some of his snazzy moves with the shooter. <laughs> mm, right here, oh, yeah? Well, it's nice to know that somebody around here still appreciates my talents. Well, lots of somebodies. And you... My handsome man are at the top of the list. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Mm, that's always nice to know. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Even if I'm not a hot shot surgeon. Huh? Oh, now, Mr. Hubbard, you are my kind of man. Mm, get out of here, because you are <laughs> my kind of woman. Oh, well, now, I don't think you should start anything. Well, you can't finish. Oh. Meet later tonight, maybe? Yeah. yeah, well, I just live right next door. I think that sounds great. Fan me with a brick. You live next door. Oh, shit. I live next door, too. <laughs> oh, baby, I love you. I'm driving. Well, I think I'll indulge. To family and being together. I'll drink to that. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got an idea. Why don't you call Tad, call the Martins, to ask Tad to come over and join us for dessert? We're having, we're having chocolate chip Rocky Mountain ice cream with marshmallows. Right, Adam? Right on, Stuart. Okay. It's worth a try. Oh, and maybe you can, I can give him a spin of my yellow bird. <laughs> That's what I call my, my new station wagon because it's yellow. Hello? Uh, Mrs. Martin? Yes? Uh, this is Sky Patterson. Happy Thanksgiving. Well, a happy Thanksgiving to you too, Sky. What can I do for you? Um, I'd like to speak to Ted, please. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. He's not here right now. He went over to the Wallingfords. Uh, can I give him some sort of message? Oh, no, thank you. It's not important. Um, it's been lovely talking to you. Well, it's been nice talking to you, too. Bye-bye. Bye. He's not there. Any word we can be reached? No. Well, I guess we'll have to go on without him. I'm sorry. Oh, look, it really doesn't matter. You look so sad. I, I know something to make you feel better. It's a secret. What? Adam has arranged for us to live here. Right here in this house. Oh, well, that's wonderful for you, Stuart. I'm very happy for you. It's for both of us. Isn't it, Adam? Yes, indeed it is. I, I'd love to have you living here. Well, that's very nice of you, Adam, but... 
I'm afraid it's, it's not right for me. I, I just can't. Sure you can. Adam's, Adam's redone a whole suite of rooms just for you. And, and he's, he's put in a piano up there so you can practice your songs. It was a small gesture. Is this what you really want, Stuart? It's what I really want. Really, 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 really want. But is it what you really want? <laughs> really. Okay. Oh! Oh! Oh, that's great! That's great! Oh, this is wonderful! This is... This is the best Thanksgiving I've ever had in my whole life! It's the absolute best! <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, where's Roy? Well, he should be back by now. Hey, dude. Want me to help you with that? What are you doing here? Oh, me? I just came by to say Happy Thanksgiving and to uh, deliver these. Uninvited, I might add. Oh, and Phoebe, Phoebe please. please. Roy, what took you so long? I was trapped in the woodshed. Trapped? Yeah, I guess the wind must have blown the door shut. Anyway, I had to chop the door down. My goodness. I'm sorry, Mrs. Wallingford. I'll, I'll replace it. I... Well, that's all right. Don't give a thought about that. I'm just so sorry that you were out there in that bitter cold all that time. Oh. Here, you come with me to the kitchen. I'll make you a cup of hot chocolate and thaw you out. And Hillary, you will come with us, please. And Phoebe, I will be there in a few minutes. You don't need to show Tad out. I'm sure he can find the door all by himself. You did what I thought you did, didn't you? You did! You locked... You locked Roy in the woodshed? Yeah, that'd be good for him. <laughs> Toughen him up a little bit. You know, show what he's really made of. Oh, you are so bad. <laughs> well, listen, I... I better get out of here before uh, your aunt calls the cops. But I'll make you a promise. You're going to be seeing a lot more of me. I swear it. Okay, now you got to bundle up because it's cold out there. I want you to come with us. Oh, I could come over to supper later if it's okay with your daddy. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll see you soon, then. Thanks for coming over and sharing Thanksgiving with us. Well, thank you for having us. Come on, you ready to go, Slugger? Yeah. Thanks. Bye. Bye, sweetie. I'll see you soon. Myra? <clears throat> Where is my father? Uh, not sure. Don't try and protect him. I'm gonna strangle him for badgering Cliff like that at the dining room table. Leave it alone. Leave it alone? He had absolutely no right bringing up Cliff's moving like that. He just did it to make trouble. Honey, it doesn't do us any good to get upset, does it? I mean, we're never gonna get that leopard to change his spots. Well, I can tell him to butt out of my life. You have told him that about a million times. Well, I'll tell him that again. This time, he's just gone too far. Nina, yeah, honey, you're just taking your frustrations out on your father. Now, wait. <sighs> Stand back. Look off. You and Cliff love each other. Why in the name of heaven can't one of you come right out and say so? Turn on the TV. I just want to see if there's any more news on Erica's wedding fiasco. On the oh, yes, the helicopter is touching down. It's down. As you can see, the helicopter has touched down and is surrounded by police. Even as we speak, uh, a moment, please. Ladies and gentlemen, I've just been informed that no one has escaped. I repeat, no one has escaped. We're here at the Kent's farm at the request of Miss Erica Kane, who called a press conference from the helicopter. 
Speaking of which, there seems to be some movement around the helicopter. Thank you. Kelly, get those reporters back there, would you? Callahan. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for coming. Tom, Aunt Phoebe, it's Aaron. Come on. Hello, she's going to be shot. Could I possibly borrow the coat? consumer sometimes feel locked in a maze of quiet desperation. You can feel trapped in a game you didn't ask to play. When you feel caught in the consumer maze, turn to attorney Doug Kramer. In your defense, only on Channel 12 News.